hey you guys welcome back to our channel in today's video i just have a very calm day it was very nice during the day but when it came later on it was just very gloomy it started raining again it's been raining for the past couple of days which i like it's nice to just stay in the house and get stuff done that needs to be done in the house and this is the time to do that In today's video, we have a mixture of different things that are going on. We are going to be cleaning up this living room, doing some waffles. We are also going to be baking. I like to bake when the time is a little gloomy because it just feels good to just be in the house, it raining and just baking either bread, cupcakes, just something sweet or something salty and i just love it so much so right here i am just preparing some waffles it wasn't raining at this time it started raining around four or five which we will get into that i started to bake some blueberry muffins and also a apple kind of like an apple pie but i would say like a apple crumble pie because i actually didn't put the pie crust on top i just put crumble on top This is one of my favorite recipes for waffles. I will try to link it below, but I am going to mention it here. So all you need is two and one fourth cups of all purpose flour. You can use whatever flour you like. Two cups of milk, a tablespoon, no, a half a tablespoon of salt, three tablespoons or four tablespoons. I like four tablespoons, but it's all up to you of sugar. You can use whatever sugar you like as well. Three eggs and i use a tablespoon of vanilla you can use as much vanilla as you'd like but that's just what we like and also i put butter i put five ounces of butter which i normally i would just use a half a cup of butter so if you don't do ounces or grams you can use a, a half a cup of butter and it comes out so delicious you guys like so so good you have to try this recipe. It actually came with the machine that I am using and that is just a recipe that I've been using this whole time. I think I've actually done this recipe on here before, but I just wanted to give a nice little rundown because I know you guys are gonna ask for it. And it is so delicious for waffles, so good. This waffle maker I got from TikTok shop, but honestly, you can get it from wherever. I'm pretty sure they have them on like Amazon. I've seen them at the Dollar General before, so you can find them wherever, but it is so good, so good. Like this waffle maker and this recipe, so delicious. I haven't tried doing this re recipe with pancakes, but I definitely want to try it just to see how it would come out. Now I will say, this is Yadel's favorite. He can eat waffles all the time, whether it be waffles, pancakes, a breakfast sandwich. Those are just like his go-to breakfasts and I like it too. <laughs> so we just top this off with some whipped cream and some syrup and it is just so delicious as you can see. We already dug into it, so <laughs> we are having to make more. And I actually made the whole batch, so that way I can go ahead and freeze the rest. This is how I just make my life a little bit easier, just putting them all in this bag, putting the date on it, and going about my day. And I already have breakfast cooked. I'll just throw these either in the toaster or in the microwave. Now we are going in with this living room and it was just a hot mess. This is like our catch all when we walk in through the door. We just either put stuff on top of this table or we eat here to watch TV and just hang out here. This is our most used spot within the home and we just love it. It's comfortable, it's comfy for us and we just love watching TV, just love being in the moment and enjoying our time together. So. 
this is the spot that just catches all the love and all the mess. We've gotten a lot of questions on where we got this couch from and this couch is actually from rooms to go we got it many years ago before we even got our place we started getting things and putting it into a storage unit when we were living with my mom just so that way we didn't have to spend money on actual furniture so that was one thing that saved us a lot because if not we would have had to buy everything new once the house was fixed now in the future we do want to go shopping for a new couch now i don't know if we want to get it new or one second hand but i've been looking at both because i kind of want to go with like a vintage couch but i do want to extend the home so that way i can have more of a space to work with because this isn't the actual space if that makes sense i'm hoping that i'm saying that right this isn't the space that's going to be here like the couch isn't going to be on this side so i really don't want to spend any money until we actually finish the whole extended part and everything so i can really know what we're getting and what we're getting ourselves into because i don't want to get something super big and then it doesn't fit on that side so it's just a whole ordeal but i'm just getting everything picked up cleaned up and also that rug is from monvu it is a rug um store they they're on amazon i think but you can also go on their website and chef's kiss this rug is super easy to maintain i can mop it like i can throw it in the washing machine so it's just been a lifesaver and i just love having a rug there before i couldn't but now i can and i just absolutely love how this space is coming about and looking it just looks absolutely beautiful I did want to go in and clean the window sills as well and also the window because it was full of like you know spider webs and stuff and I know homes get spiders and spider webs the most that I see the spider webs are like on my ceiling and like the area where the middle bar is as you can see where the lights are that is the m most obvious place you can see spider webs so i normally just go in and clean that up every time i'm just sweeping the floor i'll pass the broom on top of there as well just to get those down and then i will continue sweeping so that way i could just pick everything up but i just moved this little table and i'm just going to wipe down that window a little bit and also give my plant some water i want to put her in a bigger pot but i really don't know like i, I don't want to mess with her too much because she's actually doing really good she's thriving and i don't want to mess her up 
because they will go into shock at times if you uh, pot them and I just don't want anything to happen to her but I'm going to uh, pot her and I'm going I am I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do it I'm going to up pot her and I'm gonna put her right there where she's at i'm just not gonna touch her i'm not gonna look at her because i'm not gonna stress myself out but she's just doing so good in that pot that she's in but she needs a bigger one i want her to grow more i want her to extend so i definitely need to up pot her and do what i gotta do for her as well Now I'm just going to get everything just sweeped up and picked up so that way the house can look a little bit decent for just in case anybody comes over and that is what I'm just doing. I'm just picking up, making sure everything is in its place and just swept and I need to mop. Now I know I've mentioned before I do not mop this floor every day. It is not waterproof. It is not something that you could just throw water on all the time. So... I only mop like once a week or every couple of days just so that way the flooring isn't getting so much water on it but that is just what I'm doing right there and I will go and wipe everything down I'm just wiping down the tables now my mixture is I do dilute Clorox so I do use Clorox and the only reason why I do that is because we do live on a farm there's so many just disgusting things on on a farm so i do use diluted clorox and i also use a gain cleaner and i just mix those two together and that is all that i use so that is it and i just love it i know a lot of you guys are going to say stop using clorox but i love using clorox it's a disinfectant it's just what works i know you can use other things but i just know that it's clean i know that it's doing what it's got to do so that is just what i like to use if you like to use something different go ahead and be my guest but i need clorox in my life and i just dilute it with the gain it's like a green bottle and it turns it yellow if you mix it with the clorox but it's really really good and i mix those two together you dilute it i think it's like one gallon of water to one cap of clorox or something like that it's not super strong so definitely try it give it a shot if you like it if you don't like clorox i completely understand but i do Alrighty, now that we are done cleaning, it is the middle of the day now, so it's probably around like 4 or 5 here. It was starting to get very gloomy outside. You're even going to see it even goes into like nighttime. When I started doing this, uh, we had went outside. It was nice and sunny during the day, and then it just all of a sudden, it was just not it. It was so, it was, it was not it. So I'm just going to go in and 
make the crust for our pie and this is the apple pie crumble it is so good i am just going in with some of this flour and pie crust is super easy to make you can look up the recipes but i will link the recipe down below in the description box if you want to try it it's super easy to do and i do use a scale but there's recipes out there that you can use cups that is very easy to follow if you want a recipe like that you can definitely go on google but i will link this one either way because i know a lot of you guys may use scales to bake i use a scale because well now i'm using a scale again that's why i kind of stopped doing sourdough for a little bit because i needed my scale back my other one had broke and then this one is doing amazing so now i'm just going in with some cold water and like i said i will leave the recipe down below for you guys to the apple pie crumble and also the blueberry muffins I am going to go ahead and put this pie crust into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. I actually let it sit for an hour because then we ate a little bit of dinner and I did all of that. So yeah, I just let it sit for a little longer, but that's okay because it came out really good either way. And I love using the food processor because it's just super easy. I don't have to get my hands dirty or anything. <laughs> it's just super easy to work with. So that is why I use the food processor. And I just put it in the refrigerator to sit. Now we're gonna go into making the blueberry muffins and these are so delicious. I'm gonna show you a different way to make them. Um, so I just mixed all my dry and wet ingredients together. All I do is mix it in one whole bowl. I'm not using 10 different bowls for blueberry muffins, you guys. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I just mix everything together and I will leave the recipe in the description box. I promise I will leave it in the description box. I know sometimes I forget, but I am going to do it as soon as I upload it. So you don't have to worry about that. And I'm just going to mix all of that in. You just need a few things and I'm sure you have them on you or in your home. I know you do. And this milk was going bad already. Well, not bad, but it was already getting to its expiration date. And so were these blueberries they needed to be used so i was just like let's make some blueberry muffins and i also had to get rid of these apples because they were going bad as well i had to throw some out well not throw it out but i had to give it to the pig and i also had to cut some parts of the apples that weren't bad but I just normally mix everything until I see the consistency that I think it should be. Um, but I will leave down below the actual recipe. Now, let me tell you something, you guys. I learned this little trick from TikTok and you guys, you have to try this. So I'm actually going to do like a blueberry jam to go with those blueberry muffins so all you need is a cup and a half of blueberries three or two tablespoons of sugar however sweet you like it and some lemon juice try this do it i'm telling you and also i'm going to be making some crumble which is super easy to make and i will be putting that on the apple pie and the blueberries muffins as well oh they came out so delicious we've already gone through <laughs> and it's only the next day we've gone through a lot and we love it so much right here i am just cutting up the apples for the apple pie crumble and i know a lot of you guys are going to say who's all going to eat this well we have visitors we have some new neighbors that are living here so they come over often and stuff 
so i just like to make extra for just in case anybody wants some and yeah it came out super delicious i actually paired the apple pie crumble with napoleon ice cream napoleon Nap you know what i'm talking about and it is so good it is also good with vanilla ice cream but i like all three flavors and it is so delicious you guys of course i am using my scale but if you don't have a scale uh, I'm sure you can probably look up the recipe in cups, but I will list the recipe um, down below of the scale because that is what I like to bake with. Once we got done with the blueberry muffins mixture, we actually put that in the refrigerator just so that way it can get nice and cold and firm while we make the apple pie filling. And it's super easy. You can do this apple pie filling with whatever you like. You can actually also can apple pie filling if you <laughs> wanted to. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a lot of apples. But in mine, I just use like brown sugar, regular sugar, vanilla, lemon juice, some i would have done like some nutmeg and stuff to make it more like fall but this came out so delicious and i just love the mixture i promise you i will put it down below i also put some flour so it can thicken up you can do cornstarch i know a lot of people use cornstarch and i'm just going to go in with some vanilla and i'm also going to put a little bit of salt because it is super sweet so i want it to balance it out and right here i'm going to go in and make the crumble the crumble is super easy it's literally like a half a cup of flour uh, you could do brown sugar regular sugar some salt and butter that is all that i use for my crumble you can do it however you like but this is just the way that i like to use it and it is so delicious on like coffee cakes, banana bread, uh, banana muffins. Oh gosh, you guys, I can name so many things that you can do with crumble. It is so, so good. Now here is the fun part. So now I'm just scooping some butter into the pan and this is just the way that I like to use it. If you like to use a spray, can of butter you definitely can that works just as well but i don't have that on hand i'm just going to use some butter and i'm going to go ahead and scoop my blueberry mixture into this pan and i'm just going to do some muffins you can also do like a little pound blueberry cake type of thing um whichever you like but the good thing about this is going to be that blueberry syrup that we made telling you you guys it is going to be delicious all i do is scoop that blueberry syrup that we made into the muffin tin with the actual mixture and it is so good oh my gosh it is so good and then all i do is put a little bit of the crumble on the top and then add a little bit more of the syrup mixture to it as well and you're gonna see that when it comes out it is like so gooey and delicious oh so gooey and so delicious so here i am just adding the um the crumble on the top and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that syrup and it is going to be chef's kiss And I'm just going to bake those muffins at 425 for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go in and 
flatten out my crust so I can put it in my pie pan and then I'm just going to add the filling and put some crumble at the top and it is going to be so good so definitely pair it with ever ice cream that you like whether you like chocolate or pistachio I like a nice mixture of strawberry chocolate and vanilla oh my gosh nice and hot and then with the ice cream oh you guys oh gosh you have to try these recipes you do have to bake the pie crust before you can actually put the filling in just so that way the pie crust cooks all the way through so you do need pie weights i just used beans and i didn't actually have aluminum foil or anything so i just put another pot on top of it and it worked out really really well just so that way it doesn't rise and make it look all crazy so yeah you do need pie weights in order to <laughs> do pie crust or like I said, use some beans. And this came out super good. I thought I was going to have a little bit of issues because it was like storming outside. And sometimes it'll come out a little bit um, watered down the crust because it is humid. But it didn't. It came out really, really good. Now I just want you to take a look at these blueberry muffins. And y'all tell me how delicious they look. They were so good oh my gosh they were just so good but now i'm just filling in the pie and i'm going to like i said add the crumble at the top and then we're all done i baked this at 375 for about 20 minutes and it came out really good the crust was done and then the pie filling was nice and hot and gooey and the crumble at the top was nice and crispy oh it was just you guys have to make these recipes. Kid you not, you guys have to make them. And this is how everything came out those are the blueberry muffins and then i'm going to show you the apple pie crumble and i just appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today while we bake and just clean up this house a little bit and get everything situated and i hope you guys try out these recipes we love y'all so much and we can't wait to see you again in our next video